Hi everyone, welcome to another New York Times Hard Sudoku. This one is Monday, September 16th. Start with a 9 in the top three rows that repeats. And actually get a 6 that repeats in the middle three rows, which is helpful because they don't give me any given digits in row 6. Row 6 is the only thing that repeats. I have one each of the digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 8. On the bottom rows, I'll get an 8 that repeats, and I think that's it. Leftmost three columns, I have nothing. The centermost three columns, I again have nothing. On the rightmost three columns, they give me all three sixes. Then I've got 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9. That's it. Okay. Let's see. So these three can't be two, three, uh, one, two, three, five, six, eight. They are from four, seven, and nine. That one C seven and nine. So it can be written as a four. These are seven, nine. These appear to be one and eight. I know the order thanks to the eight in column four that looks up. These ones, those two eights, four and eight, one of those two. Column nine. Eight, one, five, seven, nine. Okay. So this sees four and six, so the only even digits are two and eight. And this sees every odd digit. I think what odds here. This can be any odd digit. That one can't be five, and this one can't be one or five. That one can't be one, three, four, five, six, or nine. Or eight, actually, so it's down to two. Four, six, and eight. So these two are two, three, five, seven, nine, and this one sees three, five, and seven. One sees two, but nothing else. Well, that can't be seven or nine because of this. One, four, seven, eight, nine. These are from two, three, five, and six. Bottom of row four is now done. These can't be one, three, five, or six. Hmm. Nothing that helps you would do I. These can't be two, six, eight, nine. And that one can only be three, actually. Place the five. One of those is a five. Three, six, eight, nine. Okay, these are from one, two, four, five, seven. One sees five twice. Okay, 
This is one in five, it can't be anything else. Second can't be here, so it goes there. Therefore, these are not seven. Doesn't tell me anything about where seven goes in the other columns on the right, does it? Yeah, it does not. Three, four, five. Okay, this can't be three, four, five, six, nine. Is one, two, seven, eight. That gives me three fourths of the quad. One, two, six. It can't be seven or eight. This can't be eight because of that. Okay, so I put six in these two, which put six in these two. Eight, two, six, and no, one. this is from two, six, or eight. But it can't, it sees a two. Actually, where does three go in row nine? Those two force it one of these two, but this is out by a given digit. Force us a three in one of these two, and now I have a three six derived pair in column six. Not that that helps me a whole lot, it doesn't. Okay, I need one, two, four, eight, nine to fill out the row. See, this is one, three, five, six, seven, eight. Down to two, four, nine. Not that that helps me much. Two or not two, three, five, or eight. These aren't two, three, five, or seven, so we're down to one or nine. An even digit to not include eight. These are interesting, because there's a two, four, six, eight in column eight, so that one sees five, seven, and nine, is one of three. This one sees a nine. One sees three and five. These are from one, two, four, and seven, and I can take out one in each of those two. These, uh, well, let me look at these three. They can't be one, three, four, six, eight, nine. It sees one and three by column, four and nine by region, six and eight by column. So these are two, five, seven, and they actually form a triple. Therefore, these aren't two. This is at seven. One eight now places that cell as a two, which will undo the triple I just made. Three five places this is a two. different pairs of digits there. That's interesting. But as soon as I figure one of them out, the rest of the row will collapse. 
Okay, one eight means this is not one. Let's see, well, this can't be eight. This this can't be eight because of that. And these can't be eight like those two. So where does eight go in row three? There's only one space. Oh, this is not two or three or seven, so it ends up being one or six. Again, these can't be five, and none of these can be five. So where does five go in column one? There's only one space for it. Allows me to clear the tri the triple in column four. This is a four because it can't be anything else. Two four places a one five here, so that's not one. And there's that. And these aren't one. And three makes this a five. And then that propagates around. Seven means that's not seven. Is it one or three actually? It must be nine. Four, eight, seven, five, that will finish out quite a few more things. One, eight, two, nine, five, three, and then the middle rows I thought were done, but they may not be. This is four, nine, so that's a two. Four, two, one. Four removes a few other digits from columns one and two of row seven and eight. This is down to six and seven, which will resolve fairly quickly enough as it is. Three, one, three, C. That's forced to be nine. And I'm missing four and one, and they're right ends. Just shy of 13 minutes, I'll take it. Which is not bad for a puzzle where I had nothing in a row, and there was another section of the grid where I had all three givens. Which usually I have a harder time with because I have to use more advanced scanning techniques to find things.